the people of the world are mad after the things of this world they do not know what is life they do not understand what is the important one and they choose themselves throw themselves into all kinds of things i was told that's why in matthew chapter 6 verse 33 said seek first him and his kingdom and the rest all will fall in line many things will come in our life we have to choose we will may feel like doing everything we have to choose that one which is very important that's why he said seek first him and his kingdom and the rest all will fall in line with you a blind man was given new 2000 rupees note and on the other hand he was given a wonderful glittering paper he saw this this note was small and it was falling into his hand another one was giving a nice sound the glittering paper was sounding so beautiful so very good sound he can't see and if somebody asked nearby how is it he said very glittery oh, oh he threw away that money and to keep that glittering paper with him a child was told by mother kindly take that warm water your stomach is not okay don't think that i am not giving your chocolate your stomach is not okay some worms are there so the doctor told you you take this warm water evening i will come back from the office i will give you the chocolate i kept it for you only in the fridge mother went away the little baby ah oh, warm water is it is a oh, little not good it is very not tasty mummy's word for few minutes remained warm water warm water chocolate chocolate and slowly mummy has gone she is alone she opened the fridge her stomach is not okay she knew it worms are inside she knew it she is supposed to take warm water she need still she chose chocolate to make her stomach still worst human beings in the world or do not understand for what we have to give our prime prime importance this is the truth which Jesus said the spirit whom i give it to you will reveal to you the truth the truth will set you free so you have to hold on to the truth and the truth comes by listening to his word many people like the glittering paper they hold on to and they throw away i know of a young lady she is like my sister my cousin sister very wonderful girl selby her name wonderful she had two sons wonderful husband my own uncle's son she got married they were very happy he was working in majra courts very big position suddenly as he was returning back he met an accident and passed away the children are small two of them she was bringing them up so many people came on her life we will marry you we will make you happy come we will get settled when she was praying the lord told her enough is enough my daughter you have two sons enough your time is limited you are getting old now again to get married 
again bearing children running around no my child spend the rest of my your life for me and with me i will reveal great things for you i have taken maybe your husband is gone away from you now you are free to grow in me in my power and to take my word and your family needs me she obeyed the voice of god today she is a wonderful preacher both the sons are settled in the us she is so happy for the lord and she was telling me the other day my girl she was telling me she calls me anna anna we prayed together and we took a decision today i am so happy satan wanted me to tie up myself once again into the feet of somebody else and throw away my life to once again to all this struggle which i have gone through the turmoil of relationship no i'm so happy i'm freed and i am spending my time in prayer and i am spending my time carrying the word of god today in that parish though there are thousands and thousands of families very few individuals who stand with the power of god whom the whole parish look upon whom the children the youngsters ask for guidance certain things god allows in our lives not to punish us not to go through pain and misery but we are created by him and for him the moment you come to realize that your life is beyond your body your life is beyond your world only your body is there for some time in the world but you will be there beyond this world with him what is important in life should not be thrown away to many things that come on our way many things will come we can do many things why not that's why in the book of sirach chapter 5 it is very clearly written verse 9 don't walk in every path that is shown before you don't make use of every wind for your crop no you should know what is the way god has chosen you renewal comes by decision renewal comes by knowing yourself decision renewal comes by committing to that one for which you are called for for that one for which god allows many things happen in your life the other day i was talking to our brothers i was telling them a story a king he was he won so many nations and then he was tensed whether the enemies may come what will happen will the generals be faithful to him he was upset and coming and then on the way he saw under the tree one man sitting and laughing cracking jokes <laughs> he got shock of his life he went him and said i have conquered many nations i am not happy why are you happy how are you happy sitting under the tree with your komana huh? with your little clothes huh? you are so happy what is this that man said hello king you have conquered the nations but i have conquered myself many needs will come in our lives we should learn to conquer ourselves that's why in hosea 4:6 says my children are perishing due to lack of knowledge 
my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord